everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Yutunde. If you're new to my channel, and you should definitely subscribe. So in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys a four month update on the web development bootcamp that I'm in. Um, so people saw my prior, my video prior to, but I deleted it because of some reason. I just really felt I, I just had to do it. But I know like I have four people sit under my video of update of the bootcamp, so I'm going to give you guys an update. Whoever's watching this video, and I know you didn't see my video prior to. Basically, I'm in Rutgers Coding Boot um, Bootcamp for Web Development, and I'm in a part-time course, and I'm taking the course online due to, you know, the pandemic that's going on. I don't want to say the name, so my this video won't be blocked. If you're working and you're taking this course at the same time, I suggest not to. Only if you're already a programmer and you work in a um, in a, in this, if you work in the field, I guess it will be good because it's like you're learning and you're working at the same time. So whatever you learn, you can apply to it. But if you have another job, like I had another job, and it was just, it was just, oh, bro, I couldn't do it. I can't work and take this. We're gonna take this course at this time. At, at the same time, is extremely difficult. So if you can do it, props to you. I couldn't do it. I had to quit my job, uh, but I got another one, but um, it, is, it isn't as hectic as my job prior to, so I'm trying to, pardon me, I'm trying to get my pen out. Do not take time off coding, especially if you're brand new to into web development, like if you're brand new to um, knowing what GS, uh, GS is, HTML, CSS, don't take any time off. Like my classes are split into three three days in a week so you have like about approximately four days and in, in a week to to have a break but i suggest you not to i did that like i'm not cold and i'm like i'm not motivated to do this but don't do that because in the next class you are going to be lost what you want to do between a class is literally you watch the video prior to the next class just to get a really good understanding of what happened last class what is this like why are we using this package so we're working on back end right now and we're using a lot of packages so for me to remember oh my god why do i need this package again why am i doing an npm for this again i need to you need to literally sit down days off and we watch class video so you can understand what's going on in the next class and apply the knowledge you got prior to to the to class in the future learn js css and html before this boot camp on the website they say you don't have to have no prior experience and not that's a whole lie it's a lie it's a lie it's a lie don't do that i was lucky enough to just have a 25 percent of what html is and I think it's zero knowledge of what CSS is. I just I just knew what a I just knew what um, HTML was the markup language. That's the only thing I had a knowledge of. But when I got into the wolf camp, the I was just like, yo. And trust me, it's gonna help you in the long run this course to have a good basic knowledge of HTML, CSS, and GS, which is the front a front end. But if you don't have an understanding of what's going on in the front end, there's no way you can build a back end. Like, it's just impossible. Only if the front end is already built for you and all you have to do is just make your server and, you know, database and stuff like that. But still, you you need a knowledge of front end. Like, you need at least 60 to 70% of knowledge. Like, please do that before you come to this bootcamp. That's one of the things that I regretted before prior to joining this bootcamp. I really wish somebody told me, don't join. Spend three months understanding HTML, like the back of your finger, CSS, and JavaScript. Not so much of CSS and HTML because there's um, there are a couple of frameworks you could use, like Bootstrap. Like I didn't even know what framework and library was prior to this bootcamp. And thanks to my 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 classmates, I'm gonna get to that later. But yeah, just have a good understanding of what HTML, CSS, and JavaScript is because it's not something they'll dive into to teach you. They will just teach you the basic. So one book that I'm actually currently using is called Head First. Learning the basics, I just had to because my classmates are over here like, I'm just saying like, what's going on, bro? It's, it's, 
what's going what's what, what's happening right now this what, what is going on like when you click that how in the world is this coming up you know but <laughs> have a good understanding man have a good understanding because i know this course is going to end in september if i know that they're gonna offer this course up again there's going to be another cycle and if this course is offered online please don't take this course run far away and save your money trust me run to the hills Run, 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 run away! <laughs> run away! Save your money and go to the University of YouTube. University of Free Camp Code. Okay? Like literally. I feel as though this boot camp was literally just built out to show you exactly what's really happening in the real world. Okay, when you get when you get employed by this companies you know what exactly you need to know oh, oh you need to know this you need to know this you need to that's them it just shows you what you need to focus on it doesn't go into depth if you want to join this book camp i suggest you spend three months on your own self-learning before you join into this book camp but if you're a cs major and you want to just literally bro there's so much free resources out there i i wasn't a cs major i was just I guess at time I was, I was a cybersecurity major, but I never took any programming courses. So, yeah, I, I just didn't know anything. Um, so I guess if you are in the position that I was in, I guess it would be good. But please, for the sake of God, spend three months understanding the front end. And the, you don't really, the back end, they will teach you, but the front end does, it's not in depth at all. Um, it will eventually click. Like, it's gonna be extremely hard at first because it was really hard for me at first because I told you I had no knowledge, no prior experience. It was really hard for me. I was just like, oh my god, what am I doing? Especially when it came to um, CSS. Now I look back, I'm just, uh, yeah, CSS. So when I look back, I'm like, oh, oh now I get it. Now I get it. <laughs> but yeah, so don't, I know you're gonna feel, it's normal to feel dumb. Like it's no I had to accept that it's normal because this is this is something new. Like this is something new you never knew about. It's, oh the teacher, our uh, instructor is extremely intelligent. And we also get like TAs, which are P uh, teacher assistants, I guess. TA oh teacher assistant, yeah. Um I, then they help you. Where well, there's a TA which is so nice. Like I that's one of my favorite TAs. Like she's really she's like she's She's really good. Um, and the instructor is very good too. Like if you don't understand something in class, you could just say it and it will just repeat it over again in class. But it's just suck that it's online. Like you don't get, I just feel as though for the price, you don't get enough help. I feel like in class it would have been so much better because they're at the tip of your fingers and they can literally demonstrate codes on a board which is so much easier when i figured this out i was like i gotta get a whiteboard so i can really understand what's going on because i'm, I'm i don't know anything like programming <laughs> when it comes to like cyber security to understand how to read documentations and when I talk about documentations for example bootstrap bootstrap is a framework yeah bootstrap, bootstrap is a framework and for you to implement bootstrap in your front end HTML you need to know how to use it like they have on their website how to you how to use this and understanding and knowing how to read documentation goes a long way because that's how you can literally build an amazing application using all these different libraries and resources and frameworks, you know? Oh my God, my classmates are amazing. So my group that I had, my first group, Komal, Hassan, JV, JV, you're crazy. <laughs> but um, yeah, those are my first so we had group project and those are the people that I, I I was put in a group with and I could one thing that I could say I got out of this um, course are people that I will forever be in contact contact with like I got to make friends with one of the most intelligent people 
in this course like they were so helpful and so understanding and I would tell you that my group they were, they were really knowledgeable and smart and I was able to really learn a lot from from working with them and they were so humble and I don't even expect it, it wasn't even weird at all the fact that we all met online and the way we interact is just like yo we knew each other we have been we knew we we, we knew each other for like <laughs> two three years and it's just this dynamic of relationship we have online is just I just feel so it's really amazing to me yeah that I'll forever appreciate the people that I met during this course and the people that I've worked with and the knowledge I'm able to gain from other people like for example I could literally hit one of them up right now like yo I need help and I kid you bro I kid you not I will get a reply back in less than 10 minutes that's how useful this class this set of class that i i i'm in with are amazing like everybody's in there amazing there's no bad vibe there's no attitude it's just it's just chill like i'm just so grateful to god that i was able to meet this amazing phenomenal people like i did a group project with them this is my second group project and i can't i didn't really contribute a lot because like I said, I'm still brand new to coding and there's, some, there's a lot of things I don't know how to do by myself and they were really there to really, you know, help out and not, you know, I didn't have a lot of responsibilities, but yeah, um, yeah, that's what I can say. One, that's one of the best things about, the, I don't know how it's going to be whoever want to join, but for me, the community online was just, was just amazing. Like. It was everybody's friendly everybody's humble everybody's trying to help each other out and we have this group thing on slack on slack and then there's this other group thing on discord that um oh one of our other one of my other classmates colby made oh my god this dude is just amazing just just it's just so generous like i don't okay i feel like i've been speaking too long during my classmates but yeah that's one of the most amazing things about this bootcamp, the online community that that has been built. Um, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. Well, for me, if you already experienced, of course, it's, it might not be. It might not be for you, but for me, it's really hard, especially the way I learn and the way, and especially if you know yourself and how you're be able to, um, how you're able to. Oh my god, what is that word? I'll be able to process things. The way I process things, it takes a while for me. I don't know. I'm not ashamed to say that. It takes a while for, for things to process for me. I have to literally look at it for a long time. To so rewatch the video until you understand. Like, I think I already said this already. Don't go into the next class without understanding what happened last class because that's what happened to me. Like I will go to class. Um, I will go to class right okay so today's Tuesday Wednesday I'm doing that I'm like I'm not even watching that I'm tired I'm not motivated I'm frustrated I don't understand and then the next class will happen and the next class will happen and then we'll have homework and I'm just like now I gotta watch four hours long of video just to understand what happened don't let that happen to you if you get to join this book and don't let that happen to you keep up with the keep up with videos watch the videos if you're fresh fresh off the boat like me you got you got to put in the work it's not a way to say it. you got to put in the work but yeah guys um that's pretty much it that's my um three months update i would say that i definitely do not regret joining this boot camp at all that's pretty much it for this video if you guys also want me to make a video of um the syllabus i would definitely make a separate video that um about that the syllabus what tools we use to communicate um how the homeworks look like what we're learning every week what the activity looks like i would definitely make a whole detailed video just leave a comment down below and i'll be sure to put that out so you guys that's pretty much it for this video if you like this video don't forget to leave a comment down below and bye